Hey, what's going on devs? Welcome back to FDev channel. In today's episode, we are gonna create from scratch a Our Team section using Glassmorphism, a new design trend that's currently very popular. You will see it all over websites such as Dribbble and even big companies like Apple and Microsoft are using it. Essentially, the main aspect of this trend is a semi-transparent background with a sublime shadow border. We will also have this blur of it, so wherever is behind the background is built to move the, into the element itself. So it's a great project with a lot of new things for you to learn, and by the end of this tutorial, you will know how to make it by yourself. Let's get started. Hey, if you're new here and want to increase your web dev skills, subscribe and click that little bell down below so you get notified every time I post a new video. Ok devs, let's start from scratch. We have those pictures, there is a link down below in the video description, so you can download those. And in here let's create our file structure. We start with our markup index, and then we also need a style.css, ok? Once this is done, Let's close this for now and let's create our boilerplate. Let's use Emmet here, it's quite simple. Alright. We have our boilerplate done, so let's come down here to the title. In the title, let's say something like Creative Our Team Using Glassmorphism, okay? Or whatever title you want to put in here. And down below it, we need a link, connect our markup to our CSS. And we also need a link from Font Awesome, okay? We just copy this one from here and paste in the head, okay? You will need those ones in order to create the icons for our cards, alright? Now we're gonna actually create our markup, okay? We start with the section, and in the section we're gonna have a main container and in the container we're gonna have our cards, okay? It's gonna be three cards, so let's create the first one. And the card is gonna have another content, this one, alright? And in here, let's have uh, our div img box. And in this one, let's use the user one, alright? There is a link down below the video description, so you can download this one, alright? And just under this one, it's still in the card, let's have our content box. And in this one, we're gonna have a h3. In the h3, we're gonna have the name of the person and also its job. So let's break it here with br. Let's have a spam, and in the spam, let's have a job. Okay, this one is gonna be a Sarah Jones, is a designer. And that's our markup so far. Let me open the app with live server. Okay. Let's see the in real time. Let's improve your coding skills by building real projects in real time. We're gonna code on the right and you see the results in real time on the left, okay? From Font Awesome, we're gonna need the icons as I told you in the beginning. So let me copy this one for example. This is uh, for the Facebook. And then Let's have a URL, the class is gonna be social icons and pointing to nowhere. Let me paste this here. As you can see, we have the Facebook icon, all right? Let me just also apply a style here, dash dash i. And simple like that, we need three icons, so let's duplicate this, okay? All right, now we have three of them. Let me make a couple of changes. The second one here is gonna be Twitter. And the last one, the third one here, let's have Instagram. Okay. Let's change the style here. This one is one, two, and this one, three. All right. Our first card is done. As you can see, our markup here is quite simple. It's very easy. All we have to do here is duplicate and let's change here the user, user number two. Let's change here the name and also her job. This one is developer, like you and me, all right? Let's copy this one, okay? Paste one more time. And this time we have a guy here, the number three. Let's 
have his name Noah Smith and this guy here is creative designer okay so our cards are done we are in the CSS where the mesh will happen okay let's start by copying from Google fonts our fonts okay we're gonna get poppings all right let me just paste it here and now let's use that first let's have a CSS reset here okay let's get rid of any margin any padding margin zero and padding also zero and for the foot family let's use that one poppings and so set it as a fallback if something goes wrong let's move quickly to the body the layout here is going to be a flex let's put this element in the center with just five content center and align it to center flex wrap is going to be wrap so kind of responsive the background color is going to be 161 623 and for the mean height is going to be 100 vh okay we will also want the section to be position relative for now all right and now let's use a pseudo class in order to create a colorful element behind our card give the impression that they are made of glass okay position absolute to its parent the width and height is going to be 100 percent so the, the full parent from the top is zero and from the left also zero and let's have a very strong colors here all right let's have a linear gradient going from red to purple okay do not worry this, this is not gonna cover the whole thing we're gonna use clip path and make it circle okay 25 percent and let's have it on the right six percent and as you can see we just create our element okay so far we have just one on the right and we need at least two one behind each card so let's create another one okay this one is gonna be blue you can choose the color you like the most but in this case it's good to have strong colors okay let me change section to after the sort of class after and as you can see they are both in the same position so let's change that 20 percent at 10 percent and here let's put that on the left all right it's done all right devs and now we want to grab the whole container itself and put that on the front of those elements okay position here is going to be relative and z index of one so it's on the top okay for the layout is going to be flex put in side by side horizontally all right let's center it with just five content center along the bay x and align the item centers along the cross axis flex wrap wrap make it kind of responsive all right and let's apply some margin let's have 40 pixels top and bottom zero and we should now deal with those pictures as you can see they are too big right now so let's and decrease the size and also make the round okay so let's grab that container card img box position is going to be a relative the width and height is going to be a 100 pixels right bottom radius 50 percent make it round all right and overflow hidden okay as you can see and let's also apply a border in this case here it's going to be a 10 pixels solid and for the color here let's pick a black and transparent dot 25 all right as you can see the pictures are the right side they're round but we can't see them it looks like a problem right so let's fix that okay we are problem solvers position is going to be absolute and front top is zero and for left is going to be also zero let's change the size width of 100 percent of its parent okay height also 100 percent and with that we can see the picture 
we can see all three pictures but there is a problem the first one as you can see is not right so let's fix their ratio using object fit cover all right and now we want to create the card itself so far we have the pictures and a couple of text and icons okay so let's grab dot container dot card and for the position here it's gonna be the relative let's give it a size the width is gonna be to six pixels the height here is gonna be let's say 400 pixels all right we also want to have a background color RGBA 255 255 and the transparency 0.06 all right let's also apply some box shadow 1050 pixel the blur is going to be 35 pixels and let's pick a color okay so RGBA and for the color is going to be black with the transparency of 2 pixels as you can see we have a a big card but let's set them apart okay we need to have three cards so margin 20 pixels and we have three cards now all right and also we want to apply some border radius to make it rounder with colors so 20 pixels border radius and you can see the result on the left all right and the next step here let's apply some border to the edges like a real glass one pixel solid rgba let's grab the white color and apply it to spares of dot one okay the layout here is going to be flexed to its content just like content center along the main axis and along the cross axis also center all right it now a little detail that's gonna make a huge difference make it look like less is gonna be a blur then pixels we have this effect if i change it to two pixels we have a different blur okay and another one is gonna be saturate let's pick here 180 pixels yeah looks nice all right devs our cards are done now we're gonna move into the inside elements okay let me give some more space here the container card and content the position here is going to be a relative we also want the layout to be flex putting side by side horizontally let's center that with just five content center align the item center all right and we also want flex direction column putting in the top of each other another thing we want to do is decrease the opacity to dot seven and apply a transition dot five seconds all right when you talk about transition we talk about animation so let's have a card hover animation okay the opacity is going to be back to one let me show you when I hover over this one, the all pass goes back to one. So you can see the, the whole content. All right, we did the picture and now we want to do the content below this one. So let's grab the content box H3. This one Sarah Jones uh, designer. I change the color to white. All right. The text transform, we wanted that to be uppercase. We also want the left space, let's give a space of two pixels in between them, okay? Another thing, the font weight here, let's say something like 500. The font size, let's increase it to 18 pixels. And we also want the text align to be center, okay? One more thing here, let's add some margin. 20 pixels, 0 and also 10 pixels. We also want a line height of 1.1 am, okay? And that's it. Our H3 is done. Let me increase that so you can see the final results, okay? All right, the name is done. Let's go below this one. We have the job. This one, for example, the first one is designer. And let's grab the spam. 
First, let's decrease the font size to 12 pixels. As you can see, we have a nice effect here. We want also the font weight here to be 300. And let's change their first letters to be capital, okay? So text transform is gonna be initial. And let me save, nice effect. And next, we're gonna move it to the icons. The icons itself, those ones on the right, let's bring them down, okay? And style them. So container.card social icons, the position we want that to be absolute, okay? And you also bring it down from the bottom, it's gonna be 50 pixels, all right? For the layout here, let's use the flex. Now let's remove these bullet points, okay? Let me just copy this one here. Let's copy and paste down here, and let's grab the LI itself, all right? List style none, so as you can see, we get rid of those bullet points. The margin is gonna be zero, top and bottom, and 10 pixels left and right. And we'll also bring it a little down with transform and translate y direction, 40 pixels. All right, as you can see, we have those icons, but the color, it does fit, okay? It's a purplish color. Let's change the color here. The icon itself, the color is gonna be white, okay? The font size is gonna be 24 pixels, let's make it bigger. All right, and now we're gonna try to apply some nice uh, animation to our icons, okay? Let's create some type of animation here. Uh, hover effect, all right? What you're gonna do here, we're gonna use transform, translate, and you're gonna change its position in Y direction. Okay, let me show you. This is without apply the transition, all right? So let's apply something else here. Let me get, get some space here, and let's also change opacity. It's gonna be from zero to one, so from invisible to show up, okay? Let me show you. We have the effect, but it's not nice because we need to apply some transition. Let's apply it right now, dot five seconds. Let me show you. Oh yeah, that's nice. Now we have a nice effect. Let's also have here a transition delay. We can make it better, okay? Let's use calc dot one second times, let's use a variable, dash dash y. Let me refresh your memory. This is coming from, remember from the beginning of the project, we had a dash dash y. Okay, as you can see, there is a little delay in between them. Okay, that's a bad good effect. All right, that's it for today, devs. I really hope you like it. If you like it, you know what to do, subscribe, and you also click that little bell down below so you get notified every time I post a new video. See you in the next one. Bye bye.